I went in uh, last night. I got home and I te- or no, this morning, last night, last night. When we got home, I tested out that Flappy Bird footage. <laughs> <sighs> you know, seven hours of rendering, you would think that the video would be perfect. It was so grainy and ridiculous, I couldn't even use it. So, um, I just rendered, uh, or I'm putting together right now, the two vlogs. Um, day 168, one day 169. And i um, rendering those out right now. And doing some test renders on the Flappy Bird, seeing if I can mess with the, the quality and see if I can get it better. But, um, yeah. <sighs> I wish that it would work. I really want to put this video up today. If not, I gotta put it up tomorrow. Wonderful. Perks to be a YouTuber. Huh, Dodger? Yep. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Mmm, potato soup. Cooking up some potato soup, watching the Michael Jordan documentary about when he joined baseball, the White Sox. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. I'm joining Ashley's not feeling good. She woke up, sore throat, no voice, um, just feels horrible. So she went back to bed actually. So I'm actually gonna play some Modern Warfare here soon. Modern Warfare 3, what's up, son? All right, I'm heading over to pick up Andrew right now. He needs a ride to go look at a car because he totaled his car a while back and he found one he likes. He just wants to go look at it. Um, the only problem is it's in the ghetto. So he wants muscle to go with him. So me and him. And the girls, are, the girls are staying home, and me and him are gonna go. So in case the guy is just trying to rob Andrew, he has backup. So we're going over there right now. Perks is living in Los Angeles area. All right, I picked him up. Now we're gonna go get jumped. Yay! It's okay. We have tasers. Yeah. <laughs> they look like flashlights. <laughs> I should probably film this. <laughs> Just leave the camera right here, <laughs> facing out. Like a dash cam. He's like, why are you why are you facing the car? Like, right at it. Are you planning to, to ram me? No, I'm just filming you kill, try to kill us, and then we you zap the shit out of him. <laughs> All right, we got to go find this place. All right, well, we didn't get killed, but the guy's laying the, a heap on the ground. So, uh, yeah, probably shouldn't mess with us. Nah, but really. We just checked out the car. It was not what, we were, what he was looking for, so. No. No, it wasn't even smoked. I mean, who saw the car? license plates? I'm like, where are the license the plate? The car he bought from the auction, I'm not, no. You can go do that yourself. Yeah, I can go do that myself and get it for cheaper. Stupid. He paid, uh, what, 1500 for it, you said? No, 700 It said 700 It said 740 something dollars. Okay, I'm going to the auction. I need a car. Yeah, auction. You guys gotta see the moon right now. Holy crap. Do you, you guys see that big circle up there? I don't know if you can tell how big that moon is inside this, but it's a big giant circle, orange circle. That's the moon. It looks huge right now. Oh man, I wish you, I hope you guys can see that. Hold on. All right, so I just took Andrew, and he got into, he got a car. We found a, a Honda Civic for super cheap. Um, it needs a little bit of work, but you know what? It's a Civic. Hondas run good. We drive a Honda. Um, but uh, yeah, holy crap! Look at the moon. I can't. I, I I'm just like in shock right now. It's huge. Man, 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 man. I don't know if you guys can see me right now. Oh. I am sick and tired of being overweight. I've been overweight since I can remember. I've never been skinny. I'm done with all the comments people make to me walking around. I Ashley always asks why I don't ever go for walks and stuff, but I've been screamed at. Stuff's been thrown at me. And it just it just gets to you. It, 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 it tears down your walls, you know? And I have very thick skin when it comes to stuff like that because my whole life I've had to deal with that. With the name calling and all that stuff because I've always been big. And I know some people don't understand that it is extremely difficult 
once you're my size, to lose the weight. I know people watch Biggest Loser and stuff like that, and like, oh, these people are dropping 30, 40 pounds. Yeah, but they're working out nine hours a day. They're on strict, like, 1,200 calorie diets. That's so hard to do when you live at home and you're not on a ranch working like that. I know it's an excuse. I can definitely lose the weight. It's mental. It's so hard to get out of this mental state of, you know, oh man, I really want to eat this. It's an it's an addiction. It's food. It's like it's like someone who who has an alcohol dependency. You you can't have alcohol around them, or they'll drink it. It's like me. If if I'm around any kind of food that I like, I want to eat it. My brain just says I want to eat it. I know this is weird for me to talk about this with you guys, but this is a real thing. Food addiction is real, and if you don't say, if you say it's not, I'm sorry. You can disagree with me. You can even unsubscribe. I really don't care. It's an addiction. It's extremely hard to get over. And I, anyway, I'm I'm going off topic. I was walking in to get dinner. This man's standing out there, and it's a, it's, just, it's a group of three of them, and he goes, "Damn." You have to be one of the biggest white people I've ever seen in my life. And I ignored it. Just kept walking. And I walked past him. He goes, excuse me. Excuse me. So I look at him. I said, what's up? And he's like, you are one of the biggest white boys I've ever seen. Now, I'm 6'1", 400 pounds. Yes, I'm a very big person. But I was like, yeah, you know what? I just I just played it off, let it let my walls up, and I was like, I was like, yep, and I'm probably the awesomest white person you've ever seen too. And I walked into the store. Came back out with my food, and he continued. Started naming off a bunch of very overweight uh, pro wrestlers and actors and just kept saying I that I was one of them. Um, you know. I'm basically that I'm super super fat and he was getting amusement out of it I wanted to hit him I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was this close to hauling off and knocking his head off I'm not a very aggressive person I don't get mad but it pushed me over it pushed me over the limit you know I'm shaking right now because I'm so mad I just thought, you know, I should probably share this with you. So you guys know the insides of my real life. I can lose weight. I've done it before. It is extremely difficult. And I'm just... If you're one of those people who say these kind of things, or snicker behind someone's back for their their weight, their race, their orientation, you know, whatever it is, if you sit there and you make fun of them for that, you're a disgusting person. Change it. Change it. Ch- you can always change it. Say hello to someone who you think's having a bad day. Don't pick on them. That's why whenever I go out, I make sure to find someone who looks like they're having a rough day and ask how their day is going. Say, hey, how are you? Stuff like that. It makes that little bit of a difference to everyone. I mean, if I'm having a horrible day and someone asks how I'm doing, I'm not going to be like, oh, my day is horrible. No, I'm like, you know what? That was awesome. I'm having a very good day, especially now. Because it's amazing when someone reaches out to you to see how you're doing. I just want to know. I want I want, to, I want to give you guys this challenge. This week, I would like you to, when you're out of this grocery store, when you're at school, when you're at work, to, I'm going to turn the light on, to find someone that you think may be having a bad day. Maybe they they just look like they're not as happy as they could be. Say hello to them. Ask them how they're doing. Ask them if they need help with anything. Comment down below if you do this and let me know what happens. How do you feel and how do you think they feel? Um, thank you guys for listening to me. This rant was an impromptu rant. I probably I wasn't going to talk about stuff like this. But... I want to be real with you, with real, real, real with you guys. Oh yes, I do have a stutter. I cut it out most of the time, but if I get nervous or upset, I stutter. So, 
All right, now I'm very upset. I'm shaking still, and I am just gonna stutter a little bit. But I'm home, so I'm gonna go see Ashley. And um, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm done with, with this.